Hi, I'm going to teach you five functional sitting activities to help with your sitting posture. First, let's sit in a chair that has your hips almost level with your knees, maybe slightly higher. You want to allow your pelvis to have more of an anterior tilt when you sit. If the chair that you're using is too low, you can always take a blanket or a pillow or something to allow your hips to go a little bit higher so that you're able to sit up and forward and place a small arch in your back. So first, let's go ahead and warm up the pelvis with just some sitting pelvic tilts. And I wanna make sure that you are really driving this from your hips and pelvis, not your rib cage or your head. So from the side, think of rolling your hips forward anterior placing a nice healthy arch in your low back and then rolling it back and down. Use your breath, sit up and forward. You may, may wanna just use your arms as well to stretch up and down. Directing it from the pelvis, follow through with the rib cage, through your shoulder girdle and look up if that feels comfortable to your neck. I would do about five to 10 of these sitting pelvic tilts, or I call them sitting cat dogs sometimes. Use that breath. I like the exhale breath when the spine is rounded. Inhale breath when you go into extension. Okay, that warms up the pelvis, so you can set your pelvis in the good sitting position. Sit up and hold that. And then pick up your block, just a basic yoga block. Place it between your knees. Feet are flat on the floor. Use your nice sitting upright posture with your hips rolled slightly forward. Watch that you're not squeezing your stomach muscles too much. We want to really allow the hip flexors, the groin to do the work here, and you're going to feel a little demand in your back. That's very normal. Just don't over squeeze here so that you're taking your back out of that nice healthy arch. And then just do 20 knee pillow squeezes. You want to push in at about 60% maximum with it being just a light, even squeeze. So not too hard. 60% of a maximum contraction. This is just to stabilize and wake up the deep groin muscles right here. Keep lengthening, breathing. Good, keeping that head right in line with your spine, relaxing your shoulders back and down. Press in, one, two, release. Press in, hold, one, two, release. Press in, hold, one, two, release. Press in, hold, one, two, release. Good. We're gonna do five more. Sit up. Nice and tall, relax the neck, relax the head. There's four, good, there's three, there's two, there's one. Okay, let's connect this pelvic stabilization with some shoulder work and arms, the arm circles. So keep a consistent, good 60% contraction on the block, sit tall, keep the spine in that erect, upright, good posture, and let's start some arm circles. So my hands are being held in this position here, a modified kind of a golfer's grip, and then stretch them out. Squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back. Look up, look straight ahead. Pull your chin in. Chest stays lifted and elevated, and keep pushing into the block. Good. You're gonna do 20 one direction, and then switch. Take your palms up, thumbs back, and circle back, and 20 the other direction. Good, keep breathing. It helps to close your mouth and take like five second inhale and a five second exhale. And a five second inhale, five second exhale. Relax and then do that again. Take your palms down, thumbs are forward, circle forward 20 times. Keep breathing. Good, and then 20 the other direction. Take your thumbs back, palms up, and 20 back. Sit tall. 
push into the block. Feel that nice extension through your spine and lower back. Relax the stomach. Inhale five and exhale five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, just shake that out. Okay, pick up your strap now, or a belt, and we're gonna take that apart. Hopefully you've got a D-ring on it. Maybe it's already got the circle on it and lasso your legs. Bring it up and tighten it up so it's one fist distance between your knees. Sit tall, hips are rolled forward, feet are flat right underneath your knees. Again, don't tighten the stomach too much. Just kind of roll the hips forward and elevate the rib cage up off of your pelvis and elongate the spine. Sit tall that way and push into the strap, pressing out, one, two, and release. Push out, hold, one, two, release. Push out, hold, one, two, release. Push out, hold, one, two, release. Good, make that nice and even. Notice if one side is trying to lead and one is more of the stabilizer. There's not a lot of movement. This is an isometric contraction. This is more lateral, going towards the deeper glute and hip muscles here. Stomach's relaxed. Just sit tall. Good. Press hold. One, two, release. Press hold. One, two, release. Press hold, one, two. So after you've finished your 20, push into it, hold it. Make your hands go to that modified grip and we'll do elbow curls. So keep pressing into the strap. Keep the spine elongated, chin in, chest up. And do 15 elbow curls. Good. Touching the elbows, if you can, without bending the wrist. Here would be a compensation as we get here and the wrist bend. So keep the wrist solid. If it's hard to do that, just stop right before your body starts to do the compensation. Maybe this is your range right now, and that's just fine. Just feel that glide of those shoulder blades on your back, the scapula pulling down and in, and then gliding at an upward diagonal on your back. There's not a lot of movement, but you should be aware of what your shoulder blades are doing on your back and on your spine. It's a great bilateral movement to wake up the shoulder blades. Feel your paraspinal muscles extended as well on your back. Everything's connecting through the spine, and you're still pushing into your strap. Okay, one more. Nice. Relax and hold that. And just roll it out. Now to wake up the glutes, we sit a lot. So we want to make sure you can activate those glutes so they will just shut down and turn off. So a great way to do that is to use this strap and use the floor. Push your feet hard down into the floor. When you do that, you should feel this action at your feet cause a reaction up in your glutes. So now tighten your glutes there and then push into the strap and then relax. So you can notice how I kind of elevate. So you know you're contracting the glutes. So push down. Push slightly out and then release. Focus on just driving those feet into the floor. Good, and release. Press down, press out, hold, release. Press hard, down, out, hold, release. This is a great exercise to do. If you don't have a strap, just try this in the car if you're on cruise control, on an airplane, on a bus, as a passenger in a car your back is starting to ache, maybe you have some sciatica, some nerve issues, wake up those glutes. We do sit a lot. You could do this in a theater. You could do this just somewhere sitting for a long period of time, church. So press down, find those glutes, push out a little bit and relax. All right, after you've done a few of those, you're gonna feel it. Take off the strap, cross one leg over, Sit tall again, roll those hips forward, and then lean into it. This is the best part, is this great stretch. Big deep breaths. You're gonna hold this for at least a minute, one side. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side. Cross it over, sit tall. Make sure your foot is in the correct position, your hips are even, the sit bones are both down. You can use the elbow and lean towards it. 
there you go there's your 10 minutes five exercises try to do those every day maybe at the office whatever works for you have a great day